follow the money guys you have bureaucrats you have officials you have union reps you have people who are part of organizations dictating policy dictating rules and dictating what you should do and how you should behave and how economic systems should be structured but the funniest thing is no matter what they say what they do there's no repercussions for them because they have unlimited protection and what i want to talk about today is anytime you hear anybody suggesting advice or shaming other people, in this case, the worst is how politicians are shaming small business owners for staying in business while there is a lockdown. Hypocrisy be thy name, you fucking sadistic sociopaths. Like, here you are, that you have a guaranteed fucking paycheck from the government. No matter what you do, there's, no, there's really no repercussion as a politician. And you have the nerve and the audacity to tell the the the, 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 the literally the lifeblood of an economy like they should be, these small business owners should be put on a fucking pedestal and showing everybody like this is what you want to aim for but you have the audacity to come and say no you don't have the right to open up your business you don't have the right to provide for your family here you are still collecting your paycheck every fucking month with a ridiculous benefits and a big fat fucking uh, pension plan from the government. And it irks me when people are listening to policymakers or listening to unions or listening to anybody in a situation where if that individual does anything or says anything, there's no repercussions. They can say one policy and if that policy turns to shit, what happens to them? Nothing. I always say Follow the money and look at the incentives. Charlie Munger said it the best. Show me the incentive and I'll show you the outcome. And in this case, the incentives for them is to stay the status quo within their nice fifiedom. No matter what they do, no matter what they say, no matter what actions they uh, act, they still stay in power. It's the most ridiculous thing. Like insanity. But for you and I, in the real world, there are consequences. The small business owner that doesn't stay open, it's life or death consequence. Can't pay rent, can't pay mortgage, has to foreclose on the business. What does that mean? Foreclose on the house as well. That means losing the roof over their head. Like there's a domino, there's a second, third order effect over here. And 99.9999999% of politicians and policymakers, they don't need to worry about this. They're backed and guaranteed by the government. And this is why it kind of irks me when I see the general population blindly fall around and, th and I shouldn't be you know I shouldn't be surprised we can look at the works from Rene Rajard and Young and Joseph Campbell and we can understand tribalism we can understand group thing like we understand the mechanism from an evolutionary psychology evolutionary biology but then there's this thing that's like common fucking sense then individual pride where it's missing a lot today obviously there's hot spots in the world where it's not missing and uh, all the power to them. But I always say, always be wary of when people come in your life, or when people say, well, I think you should do this. Well, this is a new policy. And I always say, well, if I actually take your advice and shit hits the fan, do you have anything to lose? No, then go fuck yourself. As simple as that. I'm not gonna take advice or listen to your policies if you have nothing to lose. There has to be skin in the game as Nassim Tlaib talks about. If Policymakers or unions or anybody in your life, this applies to anybody actually. This isn't just for like higher tier bureaucrats or society. This applies to anybody in your life. And anybody in your life is here trying to impose their beliefs, impose their rules, impo impose their ideologies. And if they don't have any skin in the game, run away. Don't listen to them. Like, that's danger. Though That should be like fucking fireworks going off in your head saying, oh, shit. This person doesn't give a shit. Because there's no fucking repercussions at all. And it's so rampant today. Absolutely rampant in society. People can talk what they want to talk about in pose. So remember, all these policies we see in the world that from the top down these are forcefully imposed on us forcefully imposed on us 
and they have zero repercussions. And it's crazy. Like, you look at all these people out there. They say one thing and do the other. For me, I'm like, if you're not a politician, if you don't do that, then you're not really a politician. It's like almost like part of your resume. I must say one thing, but I must act another way. <laughs> and I really, I, I, I always use like very first principle thinking, right? What is the most basic level thing for us to understand to give us a general guidance? People like to overcomplicate things. And when it comes to anything in life, I look at, okay, we are... In, we are talking together. We are trying to communicate. You're you're, pop, you're proposing something to me, and I want to counteract that proposition. And if you don't have any repercussions or skin of the game, then I should not be sitting at this table with you. And I think everybody should view life that. If, for example, even if your parents, your parents are here telling you, oh, well, you should go to college, university. Okay. And if I go and I don't like it, and I go into debt, what repercussions do you have? Nothing. Forget the money. I just lost four years of my life. Same with like any relationships, right? Well, we're going to do this. If I do this and shit hits the fan, what repercussions in, on your side of the relationship? Nothing. See what I mean? There, there has to be a yin and a yang, laws of thermodynamics, right? Entropy, where there has to be as uh, there has to be tip for a tap, where if you are going on this journey with me, you both A, share the upside in this journey, but B, very important, you share the fucking downside. And I just want people to start waking up and realizing policymakers make the worst policies because they don't have any skin in the game. There's no repercussions. Mark my word, if we created in the Constitution that if you are a policymaker for the populace and your policies are detrimental, <laughs> you lose everything. You can never run for politi uh, as a politician again. You lose anything, and there might be criminal charges. Like, there has to be... Like, imagine in business. Like, imagine business. Like, we can do whatever we want and no problems. That's not how nature behaves. Nature, there is a cause and effect. There's risk and reward in nature. These are the laws of nature. But how we've created society in different levels and hierarchical levels, we create a system where there's groups of people that don't have these repercussions, but yet they're here imposing their rules on us. So I quickly wanted to make this rant video about follow the money, look at the incentives, and be really, really fucking cautious of when people shun you or when people push policies on you or when people tell you anything, well, you should do this. Okay, let's really fucking talk about this. Peace out, guys.